What's that noise? Is it a roar? It sounds like a crying lion. It's not a lion, Moomoo, it's me. Rita, those are roars of a lion. It's my belly and it hasn't stopped making noises all morning. I think I'm hungry. I'm hungry too, but there are still a few hours to go until we eat. I don't understand why I'm so hungry today. I had a really good breakfast. It's because we've been running around and playing all morning and we worked up an appetite. I'm really hungry. I could eat a big plate of pasta with strawberry marmalade and chocolate chips. We need to quit talking about food or our bellies won't stop making those noises. You know what just occurred to me? I'm going to go and make something to eat right now. What a great idea, Olga. So what are you going to make? It's a surprise. If you wait huh? for me here, I'll make you something really good. All right, but don't take too long. I'm going to make some tuna and cheese sandwiches. The first thing I have to do is prepare the slices of bread. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I think I better make two sandwiches per person. I'll need six more slices. Now I'll make six cheese sandwiches and six tuna. First, I'll add two slices of cheese in each sandwich and then a little bit of mayonnaise. I'll put two really good slices here and two more here and here and here and finally two more here. Now I just need to put the tops on the cheese sandwiches. I'll do the same thing for the tuna sandwiches. First, I'll add the tuna. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And now I just have to cover them. I think everything's ready now. But since they're all so hungry, I should make something really good for dessert. Let me think. I'll make them a really big chocolate cookie. I hope Olga comes back soon. What do you think she's making for us? I hope it's something really tasty and delicious. I would love a tuna and cheese sandwich. You're so right, Talalo. It would be awesome if she also made a really big chocolate chip cookie. If she takes much longer, I'm going to die of hunger. I want to eat now. Enough with the noise, Moo Moo. It sounds like a bear growling inside your stomach. I can't take it anymore. I'm going to go see if Olga needs any help. Moo Moo, you'd better not. Olga told us that we should all stay right here. Don't you worry. I'm not going to do anything wrong. I'm just going to help Olga. Don't always think the worst. Hi, Olga. Olga? Where are you? Oh, look at all this food. And it's all ready to eat. What yummy looking sandwiches. Oh. Oh. Nothing would happen if I just eat one, right? I can't. I promised that I'd be good. Well, just one, nothing will happen. They won't even notice. That was so yummy, but I'm still hungry. Nothing would happen if I eat another one. Now I better not eat any more. But I'm still hungry, but... Now there's only 10 left. If I eat another four... Everyone would still get one sandwich each. Nothing would happen. The food is ready. You can all come now. 
Where'd Mumu go? I don't know. She was here with all of you. She just left two minutes ago to go help you. And she must be there with the food. She's going to eat it all. No! No, no, no. Where's all the food, Moo Moo? <coughs> well, I just... Did you eat all of it? <coughs> You're gonna get it. <laughs> Don't worry, my friends. I made a lot more sandwiches, but I hid them under the table just in case some glutton came around and ate them all. We have food for everybody! Yay! Yay! <laughs> what a long day! There's nothing going on, and I'm so bored. We could play something. Yeah, but what do you want to play? A long time ago at school, we put on a play, and it was a whole lot of fun for everyone. What a great idea, Alfred. We can all play a part in it. The hardest thing is deciding which play to do. Why don't we do the three little pigs? I'm already a little pig. That sounds like a good idea. I could be the wolf since I'm already a dog. Rita and Milo could be two more little pigs. But what should we do with Mumu and Talalo? We could make Mumu the narrator of the story. And Talalo... Talalo can be in the crew and help out. Sounds good to me. Let's go get everything ready. My dear friends, I'm going to tell you the best story that you will ever hear. It's called Alfred the Wolf and the Three Little Pigs. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs who lived in the countryside. Each was very different from one another. And they were threatened by a ferocious wolf. They decided to build houses of their own to take shelter. Rita was very tall and yellow and didn't like working very much, so she decided to build a little house made of straw so she could finish quickly and go out and play. But what Rita didn't know was that the wolf was about to give her the biggest scare of her life. On the other hand, we have Milo. Milo was a great worker and a wonderful carpenter, so he decided to build a house made of wood. Milo was sure that his house was very strong and never thought for one second that anything bad could happen to him. He's a real expert creating houses made of wood, but what he really wants to do is finish quickly to go out and play with Rita. The last pig was Olga, the best looking and hardest working little pig the valley had ever seen. Olga decided to build a house made from stone and brick. It was a very strong house and was very secure even if it took a lot of effort. I've already finished my house, and you should know that my house is made of straw and is just as good as yours made of wood. What a waste of time. Mine is already complete. I'm the fastest and the best. <laughs> what on earth made you build a house of stone? I made one out of straw and it's already finished. While on the other hand, you're wasting time making a house of stone? <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, a strong, ferocious, and terrible wolf approached our friends with the intention of eating them all up in one single bite. By the time they noticed, the wolf was already very close and they all yelled, A wolf! A wolf! They all went inside their respective houses and just barely saved themselves. But the wolf was very hungry, so he decided to go to Rita's house. I'm so hungry! I'm gonna eat the little pig who's inside this house! You won't be able to come in my house! That's what you think! 
I'll show you how I can huff and puff and blow your house down. The wolf blew very hard and the house went flying through the air. Rita, afraid that the wolf was going to eat her, ran as fast as she could into the house made of wood. But the ferocious wolf followed her. Come out of that house or I'm going to eat you! We will never come out. This house is very strong and you won't be able to come inside. That's what you think. I'll huff and I'll puff until this house flies away too! The ferocious wolf huffed and puffed and the house trembled but remained in place. He blew again and the house flew up in the air. Rita and Mila were shocked to see that the house had been blown away and they quickly started running to Olga's house. But the wolf followed them. Come out or I'll huff and I'll puff and blow this house down too. I don't think you'll be able to do that with this one. I'm sorry, Mr. Wolf. That's what you think. Now I'll show you. <sighs> Wolf blew and blew, but the house wouldn't move. You see, Mr. Wolf, you can't blow away this house. <sighs> the wolf tried, but the house wouldn't move. Then the wolf went up on the roof and tried to get in through the chimney. But the three little pigs lit the fireplace. When the wolf reached the ground, he burned his behind and ran away. Ouch! 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 That really burns! It really burns! Finally, the little pigs were safe, and the wolf never came back to bother them again. End of the story.